आज ही डाउटनेट ऐप डाउनलोड करें डाउटनेट पर होगा अब आपके सभी मैथ्स केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स और बायोलॉजी डाउट का सफाया बस अपने क्वेश्चन की फोटो खींचो उसे क्रॉप करो और तुरंत वीडियो सोल्यूशन पाओ डाउनलोड नाउ Hello everyone so the question is let p and q be the distinct points on the parabola y square is equal to 2x such that a circle with pqs diameter passes through the vertex o of the parabola if p lies in the first quadrant and the area of the triangle opq is 3 root 2 then which of the following is or are the coordinates of point p we are given with the four options we have to calculate the answer and then take which of the following option is correct for the coordinates of point p As per the information given, I am drawing the diagram for this question. So, this is the diagram for this question. So, as we can see that this is point P and this is point Q. So, how we have defined the coordinates of point P and Q? We know the point at uh, any point on the parabola can be defined by the coordinates that is a t square comma two a t. So, at point P, let the coordinate uh, let it be defined by t one. So. Since we know that the parabola is given as y square is equal to two x, so if y square is equal to two x, comparing it with the standard equation of parabola, that is y square is equal to four a x, we get to know that a is equal to one by two. So substituting it in point P, we get the coordinates of point P as half of t one square comma t one. Similarly, what would be the point, uh, coordinates of point Q? That would be equal to Half of t two square comma t two. Now this angle is ninety degree. Now proceeding forward, since this OP is perpendicular to OQ, so I'm writing down. Since OP is perpendicular to OQ, we know that the product of t one and t two that would be, it would be equal to minus of four. Now proceeding forward. Now since this angle is ninety degree, so what would be the area? Of triangle POQ that would be half of base into height. What is base? So OQ would be the base, and O P would be the height, or we can use it vice versa. Also, it would be one and the same thing. Now let's calculate further. Now it is mentioned that this area is equal to three root two. So this is three root two. That is equal to half of now. What would be OQ? So we can see that since O is having coordinate zero comma zero, so what would be the value of OQ? So that would be mod of I'm taking one by two outside, so mod is inside. OQ is under the root of t two raised to the power four upon four plus t two square. Basically, I have used the distance formula. What is OQ into this would be into t one Raised to the power four upon four plus t one square mod. This would be expression for the area of the triangle. Now proceeding forward, three root two would be equal to one by two into four. I've taken outside. Inside we are left with combined root of t one square plus four and t two square plus four mod. Now squaring both sides, I get nine into two is equal to four. I've taken the square on both sides, so it into four because two twos are four and square of two is four into sixteen plus four into t one square plus t two square plus sixteen upon sixteen whole bracket. So solving it further, that is eighteen is equal to eight plus. I'm for I'm basically simplifying it. So eight plus t one square plus t two square. Solving it further, I get t one square plus t two square minus ten is equal to zero. So we are left with. If I'll be separating it, so I'll be left with t one. To the power four minus ten of t one square plus sixteen is equal to zero. While this calculation, I have used this thing also. That is t one t two is equal to minus four. So proceeding forward, solving this quadratic equation, we'll be getting the value of t one square would be equal to two comma eight. So if t one square is equal to two comma eight, 
then what would be the value of t1 so t1 will be having two values that is root 2 comma 2 root 2 similarly t2 would also be having the same values that is root 2 comma 2 root 2 now if this is the uh, basically this is the y coordinate for point p and q so we are only required with point p so if this is the y coordinate what would be the x coordinate so x coordinate would be if y is having value root 2 then what would be the value of x it is half of t1 square so this would be equal to half of t1 square that is 2 so this will be having 1 so therefore one of the coordinate of point p is 1 comma root 2 now if y is equal to 2 root 2 then what would be the value of x so x would be equal to half of it the square that is 4 so other coordinate of point p is 4 comma 2 root 2 now let, let us have a look at the options so 1 comma root 2 this is correct and 4 comma 2 root 2 so therefore option a and d are the correct option so option a and d are the correct option i hope it is clear class 6 to 12 se leke neat iit je mains aur advanced ke level tak 10 million se zyada students ka bharosa aaj hi download kare doubt net app ya whatsapp kijiye apne doubts 8400400400 400 400 400 par